Hi, Cancer. I'm Pam, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for July 2019. This month, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings. And to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Ascendant, and Cancer Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to make more sense to you than your sun sign will. At the end of this reading, this month again, I'm going to pull a gemstone crystal for you. I have 21, 21 or 22 gemstones in this bag and I'm going to pull a gemstone for you and then my spirit guides will tell me why that stone is the right stone for you to use, work with, carry, sleep with, put under your pillow, put in your bra, put in your pocket, hold, meditate with uh, throughout the month of July. So all that being said, Cancer, now onto your July 2019 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have is Justice. So this could be dealing with court documents, legal papers, lawyers, um, it could be also not legal. This could be in a situation that was unfair or unjust now becomes fair, balanced, and just. I feel like there's some things around you, Cancer, that are kind of unraveling that you need to take care of, pay attention to in July. Because I feel like there's some situation that's arisen that gives you cause for concern. Possibly, maybe you had a fender bender and you're worried if you're going to get sued or have to go to court. It could be uh, something else. Maybe you own a business and somebody slipped and fell in your establishment. Now you're worried about that or, you know, many different things. Maybe you had some kind of medical treatment done and it made you feel sick or you took some kind of medication and it gave you a bad reaction. And, you know, it's given you cause for concern and now you want to get it taken care of or you, you have to go to a doctor or see a lawyer uh, about it because you feel that it was too uh, not healthy for you, not good for your system, didn't sit right with you, gave you bad reactions. Some of you have something that you are closing and ending and it could be a divorce. You could be going through a divorce. And I hear some of you feeling like you're not sure how you got into the mess that you're in. So you might be feeling like something went too far, something got out of hand. And now, you know, you could be facing legal action about something or you could be posing the legal action. Maybe there was a breach of contract. Perhaps you were trying to buy something or sell something and somebody backed out of the deal or, you know, I don't know, but you've got... For some of you, I do really feel this is legal, um, but to what degree it's going to be different for all of you. There could be someone, and it could be an entity like a company or an establishment of some sort, but it could be a person uh, too, just as well as it could be a person of somebody that you need to patch things up with or make amends with or try to smooth over troubled waters with. That comes up with the justice card also. Some of you may feel like you've taken on too many burdens and responsibilities and it's not been fair. You may feel like you took on too much of the load at work or it's just been or in your family or in some circumstance where you feel the balance it was uh, not even. It was out of skew. Uh, I also feel like there's something, some of you may be worried about cleaning up a space. Maybe you're moving out of something, like if you're moving out of a home or uh, like a, uh, a rented property or a pro property you're gonna sell. Maybe you're worried if you don't clean it up well enough when it's time for you to go, you're gonna lose your security deposit or you would, uh, maybe it would mess up a deal if you're selling the house if you don't clean it up. Right. That also comes up here, but it would be connected to something legal, like legal contracts of a lease or of a sale. So next card you have, this is King of Rods. And the King of Rods is a fire sign male. Well, it could be a female. 
two. This is either Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. Now, this could also be you, Cancer, if you have a rising sign or a moon sign. That's a fire sign. This might be somebody that you're battling with or going round and round and round with in uh, July. You may not feel like as good about them as you did in the past. Maybe you had a higher opinion of them before and now they've, it's, they've kind of fallen out of favor and you're going around uh, with them about things. Could have to do with the justice card for some of you. For some of you, it's not connected. They may feel like they're the authority over you. They may be like, you don't have any right to tell me what to do. I'm the boss. So this could be a boss to you. It could be a spouse. Um, it could be somebody who's just, uh, I, I get like this kind of indignant attitude from them. Like, don't, you're not going to tell me what to do. I'm the boss. Like, that's what I feel the King of Rods is thinking at, about you when they look at you. You look at them like they're only interested in self-serving ways, like they're only self-serving to themselves. Um, and you may also feel like they're a little bit arrogant and maybe even a little bit of a bully, maybe. This may be somebody you have to duke it out with, possibly in court or, you know, just... I really do feel that these two cards for you are connected. I do. I really do. So again, if it's not a legal matter, I still feel this is somebody you're having some kind of, uh, you don't feel like the balance of power or justice was fair between you two. And this King of Rods may be somebody that wants to come in and take everything over. They may want to take over, take uh, over, like you could be working on something and they come in and are like, I'm taking over, I'm doing this. Maybe they're even a coworker to you that's in a bit of a war to like get your job. Um, or they're a boss, or I'm still sticking with boss, spouse, or coworker. Could even be uh, of another family uh, member that comes in and is like, yo, cancer, what are you doing? I, I, uh, uh, out of here. I'm doing this now. You're screwing it up. Even if you're not, that may be their mode. They've got kind of like antagonism towards you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You may look at them and feel like, yo, what's this uh, King of Rods all about? They're creating drama. I feel like you feel they're creating drama. Even if they don't think they are, and they don't see it that way, you're perceiving it as them creating drama. And I feel like he's really changeable. He does things one way, he does things another, changes his mind. I'm doing it this way. No, I'm changing it that way. And that can even be in, in this King of Rods behavior. So the next card you have here is Six of Rods, which is good card for you considering these other two cards that just came up and what the messages were, because this card means victory after a battle, being victorious in something. You're going to revere in how you progressed and how you promoted yourself. You're going to feel that way in July. So things you did prior to July is going to make you feel like you're proud of yourself. You've stood up for yourself. You're proud of yourself. Um, you're proud of what you've done, how you handled things, your work. If you sell anything, you're going to have numerous people coming out of the woodwork to buy what you're selling. You'll do well with sales. doesn't matter what you're selling. could be a home, could be uh, stuff on the internet, could be uh, personal property, could be that's what you do for a, a living and sell in sales. And people are going to come out of the woodwork. You're going to have more customers, more clients, people buying. If you have to do any legal battles with anybody, I see facts and figures not matching up. Now, it, this is one of those messages that can go either way. Either they're going to look at your facts and figures and say, hey, cancer, your facts and figures don't match up or add up. Or you're saying that about somebody else's facts and figures aren't adding up. That's a message that could go either coming at you or going from you one way or the other. I do feel like many of you are getting the opportunity to show off your wares or show off your talents 
or uh, show off something like some kind of opportunities like opening up for you and you're going to have to it's not like it's over cancer it's not like oh okay well yay woohoo it's like yeah now you got more to do <laughs> it's like yeah that's good this opportunity opened up but now don't sit still there's more to do if you've been in a relationship with somebody that's been an annoyance to you or an upsetment to you for quite some time, you're going to successfully end that relationship in July or maybe even August. Some of you are going to cut out some family members uh, where if anybody's been super critical of you or you know not disapproving of you, what you say, your ways, you're, there's going to be some family members you're going to disconnect from. Uh, now, not for all of you, for some of you, that's, you know, this is a general reading cancer. So don't forget that like, not everything I say is going to pertain exactly to you. Uh, but you should always watch your rising sign and moon sign because many people write me and say, oh, your messages usually made sense for my sun sign, but it didn't this month. And I listened to my rising sign or my moon sign and it was dead on. So if I'm giving you messages here today that don't make sense, don't forget to go listen over there. If there's some kind of competition that comes up, you're going to tromp all over the competition. So if it's work, uh, you're going to blow away the competition. If it's with a partner and you're having, you're at odds with each other, whoever is competing with you, you're going to trample them in July. Next card you have here is the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is an earth sign person. This is either a, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could also be you, Cancer, if you have a rising or moon sign. That's an earth sign. This is somebody that loves you, that cares about you. They might may want to bring you something like a gift or could even be giving you something that they found that may have belonged to you that was lost or they're just giving you something, a nice gift. Now, the Page of Pentacles can also mean... A messenger pages can be messengers and this messenger would be bringing in uh, news or money news about money or money you may even work together with this page of Pentacles uh, you may be collaborating I feel that they have a very artistic flair and you may as well or there's something they have a good creative mind even if they don't create art it could be creative in other ways and I feel that you two will be joining together in some way. Some of you may start a business partnership with them. Um, it could be like a sideline gig or hobby. Doesn't have to be like you quit your day job and, and go off and do that. Some of you, you may, but this could be, um, you know, like I said, like a sideline thing that you're doing. If this is somebody that you're coupled with romantically, they're going to feel like they need to show up and be present more in your life. So they may be, if you're intertwined with them romantically, they may start stepping up their game and trying to prove themselves to you more and do that kind of actions your way. They have a feeling like they need to hold on to you they may also secretly think that they want to control you, even though they may not be aware that's what they want. Because uh, it could be like, because I feel like they feel like they need you. But they're needing you could be a little manipulative. So you have to be careful of that. Maybe not for all of you, but for some of you, you have to think on that. I feel that you look at them like they're smart, they're intuitive, they're well-versed. They may even be a well-dressed person too. But you think po you do think positively for the most part about this page of Pentacles. They kind of feel like they want to lean on you for support. Could be financial support. Could be emotional support. Could be loving support. Um, I don't know. Support can mean many things. So, uh, and I feel like they may not feel as good as they used to. They may feel like they're a little out of sorts or they got to get back in the game or revive something, their career or their appearance. That's the 
they're they're having some little crisis going on, maybe mentally, emotionally, could be spiritually or physically. There's something going on with them, but it's not like, I don't feel like it's off the hook. Uh, last card you have is three of rods. This is success. This is waiting patiently for success to come in. It's also um, letting go of something so success can come to you. You could also be at the beginning phases or stages of a a uh, business or an enterprise that's going to be successful. I feel like you have to loosen the grip of your reality. I feel like there's certain things, Cancer, you've been holding on too tightly to. What is it? Is it a person from your past? Is it a job that's not good for you anymore? Is it an idea? I don't know, but you're holding on too tightly to something. You need to think about what, where are you like really like, oh, I can't let go of this because there's something you need to let go of here. Some of you will receive notification of someone in your family passing. Uh, I know that's very odd to come up from this card, but that's what my spirit guides just told me. So that could be a distant relative. Doesn't mean it's somebody close to you, but keep in mind, we have eclipses this month and eclipses often people will pass from the energy of eclipses and then babies can be born uh, from energies of eclipses that can, you know, things get eclipsed from our lives and new things come, new beginnings happen. So some of you are going to hear about that. Some of you are finalizing paperwork and documentation to buy something. It could be, a, you know, a vacation home, a property you're going to purchase to rent out to other people. Uh, it could be a new residence. It could, it could be like uh, signing papers at a lawyer to start an LLC or a corporation. There's something you're signing in July, but you have to be careful of that because we have Mercury in retrograde in July. And sometimes things can get reversed. So if there's any way you can sign these papers in June, uh, I know you're hearing this in July, but I am recording it in June, uh, or well after the retrograde is over, two weeks you know, after the shadow period of Mercury and retrograde. So sometime in August would be better if you could sign documents and do any kind of legal work or paperwork then unless it's something that's been going on for a long time prior to July, then it's okay. But there still could be some uh, disruptions about it. Some of you may have uh, a family, family members that may join forces together and say that you're not going to, you're going to boycott something. Could be like a place you used to go, uh, a place you used to stay could be a place you shop, um, could be some kind of products or services, could even be a family gathering that you're like, we go there every year and there's always fights. We're not going to go there anymore. I don't know, but, but it feels like actually like family joined together boycotting something. If you do any kind of real estate transactions, it's going to be very successful for you. Some of you will also be receiving notification that a job is opening up and if you if in the place where you work and if you apply for it, you're going to get promoted or it could be a new job and it would be a better fit for you or you would make more money. So those are the things that came up in your cards. Now I'm going to pull a gemstone crystal for you for the month of July as to what stone would be the best for cancer for July 2019 to use in July Spirit Guides Cancer. Okay, so you have Smoky Quartz. You got Smoky Quartz Crystal. And I have to say, Cancer, I forgot at the beginning. I'm so sorry. Happy birthday, Cancer. I hope you have a fantastic birthday and a great solar return and Great things happening to you with many blessings all year. So I'm going to psychically read this stone and then we'll see why it's good for you for July. It's going to uh, strengthen your muscles and not even just like 
physical muscles. This could be your energetic muscles of like your strength, your bravery, your like kind of like bravery, I guess is what I want to say, really. You may be going through some kind of substantial changes in July, and this stone is going to help you with any big substantial changes. So like moving your residence, getting a promotion, uh, going to a new job, getting divorced, having any legal cases. These are going to be cha big changes. So it would be good if you, you know, you could get a, a bracelet. I've seen people do that where it's all the gemstones or a pendant. Like that way it's on you all the time. It would be good for you to have this in July. If you have to take any kind of placement tests to get into college or to get into a job or where they're going to place you in something or even any kind of tests, this stone is going to help you. And it's actually going to reduce a lot of fear and anxiety in you. So keep in mind all the things that came up. That can make sense because there could be some things that would create fear and anxiety that came up in this reading. Not all, but there was a few and it would be good for you to have that mitigate some fear and anxiety. And I know this is going to sound like a really weird message, but I actually feel like it's going to help your skin. Uh, and your aura because I get like your skin looking brighter and your aura having more brilliance and shine to it from this smoky quartz crystal. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from me and my spirit guides that you won't see here on YouTube, you can follow me on my two businesses, Facebook pages, the lucky mermaid LLC and the psychic pastry chef LLC. And also on my Instagram account at the lucky mermaid underscore Pam Georgell. In all of those places, I pull tarot cards, oracle cards, look into my crystal, give you psychic predictions and messages. Uh, sometimes they're for the day, but usually they're for a week, a couple weeks, or even a month ahead. So hope to see you over there on my social media and interact with you over there. I look forward to seeing you there. And if you're interested in getting any of the special videos I've recorded, uh, such as, first off, if you want to get a continuation of this reading where I continue on and look into my crystal for your sign for the month of July 2019, you can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below in the show more section, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for these psychic crystal readings for July 2019 for download and purchase. Also, Saturn and Pluto retrograde is still going on and I did uh, psychic tarot and oracle card readings where I pulled four tarot cards and one oracle card from the angels, gods, and goddesses deck. Um, and the Saturn is retrograde from April 29th through September 18th. And Pluto is retrograde from April 24th until October 3rd. So those predictions and messages are going to cover that time period in those videos. Also, don't forget, there's other planetary things going on as well. Jupiter is retrograde, started on April 10th and lasts until August 11th. And I did a psychic crystal, psychic tarot and crystal readings for the, that transit where I used two cards from the Jane Lyle Renaissance Tarot deck and looked into my crystal. Also, don't forget every year I always do my mid-year Psychic Tarot update where I pulled five cards for your sign, for each of your signs, and I look into what is going to transpire from June 2019 through to the end of the year end of December 2019 
And those videos are also on Vimeo as well. All the video series are available by clicking on the links below and they'll take you to those videos on Vimeo. And if you want to just click exactly on your sign and go directly to your sign, you can do that by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu, and there you will see all the video series I have listed that I've done. There's over 1300 videos I've recorded on Vimeo with all my spirit guides, psychic predictions, and messages for all your signs in a variety of topics. Uh, I started that in August of 2015, and I'm still continuing on. So what you would do is you just go to your the heading of the video series you want. You click on your sign under that video series, and it's going to take you directly to Vimeo to that video for download and purchase. So I hope you'll find something there that'll give you more insight and information and be helpful to you as you travel through all these energies that we have always going on around us. So I hope you have an absolutely spectacular month of July, Cancer, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.